uh, the state can come in and say, well, get out. I can't understand spending the money that you want to put artificial turf, $2 million worth. I think we should put it over where property where we own instead of wasting, you know, go down to Disbro, put an artificial turf there and maybe over here. But to, to have the state come in in 10 years and say, Rye, we're taking it, and then after they're going to throw that out. Yeah, the, the, the question is, what does the deal look like? We're still asking every day, what is, what is the deal that we cut with the state? We know there's a letter of agreement. Um, I asked the assistant city manager, what are the parameters of the deal? But, you know, we want to maintain our open space, and so in the rec master plan, we've had that as, as a target to go after and, ha and have that as a field. But times have changed. And, you know, if it were my money, which is the taxpayer's money, I don't know if I put $3 million in a property that I didn't own. We're going to lease the property. And we're going to pay the state $30,000 a year. And they can apparently pull the plug on the lease at any point in time. And even if they don't, after 10 or 12 years, what do we have? We've spent a lot of money on something that we don't own. I'd rather take that money no public money involved, but just through donations. Our user groups are interested in, in helping fund this and put it to where land we own. So maybe it's a collaboration with the schools and we look at the upper field at the high school and the collaboration is we're all going to, as a community, raise private money to get AstroTurf at the upper field and that will alleviate a lot of the, the crowding that we have right now because the, the objective is we do have crowding. Our user groups are going out of town and paying other communities for field space. So. Um, you know, that's my answer with that.